Alright, so the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your measurement. First, you're going to want to take it around the fullest part of your bust. For me, it is about 32 inches. And then you're also going to want to measure the height of your bodice. For me, this is going to be around 11 inches. You're also going to want to take the measurement between the fullest points of your bust. For me, this is about 8 inches. And this will be useful in constructing the bodice. So the pattern for a bodice, if we look up on Google, should be just about this shape. Um, so since the fullest part of my bust was around 8 inches, I was able to do this on printer paper. But you just kind of want to make this little heart shape and then adjust the cup size to your actual cup size. You might want to reference a bra or something to get the right sizing here, but it's a lot of trial and error. Now here I'm just taking the two pieces and I'm putting them right sides together. Now you're going to want to have the edges touching and so you're going to do a lot of pinching and pushing to get these to lay flat so that when you actually go in and stitch them together it is a nice cohesive look and it's not looking bunchy and it's not looking too flat and it's giving you the shape that you actually want. And you're just going to want to run that through your sewing machine. I like to take my time with this step because even if I pinned it really well, if I end up doing a really bad job at actually sewing it together, then it's going to look really weird when I put it on. There are going to be a lot of jaggedy pieces that are just going to pull and look bunchy, and I don't really want that. I also like to take the pins out as I go because I feel like sometimes they pull on my fabric and make me stop weird. And I don't really want to risk this seam because this is providing structure to the bodice, so I just take my time with it. So here we have the seam following the edge of the bodice and it just looks pretty clean all around and you're just going to want to try that on. Ideally you would be doing this without a shirt on and if you're going to wear a bra with this shirt I'd recommend trying it on with a bra and if you're not going to wear a bra with this shirt I'd recommend not wearing a bra when you try it on. But basically you're going to make sure it fits, that there's no weird bunching, no weird pulling, you don't have to tailor it anymore. I think this looks pretty good so this is where I'm going to stop. Now here we're going to make the back piece by taking the length of your back and cutting it in half and then just extending the line that the side piece made and you're going to want to add seam allowance here. You're not going to want to make the mistake that I did and you're going to want to add seam allowance on both sides because you see when I try to attach the piece here accounting for seam allowance the back piece ends up way too short. So I had to go ahead and cut it out again and add a little ledge for seam allowance to make sure everything lined up properly and we're good to go. And now just like the other piece of the bodice, you're just going to want to run that through the sewing machine with a straight stitch all the way down. Now congratulations, you have half of a bodice. So you're going to want to go ahead and repeat those steps on the other side to get one complete bodice. And now that you have one complete bodice, you can cut out all those pieces, repeat all those steps, and then surprise, surprise, you're gonna have two bodices. Wow. Wow. So now you're just gonna wanna pin these right sides together. Now you can see you have the wrong sides on the outside, and we have the right sides, guess what? On the inside. So just like that is how you're gonna set up your bodice and you're going to want to pin these together at the tops. Now you're going to want to pin this pretty accurately because this is going to determine the shape of your sweetheart neckline. So this is kind of the crucial point of this tutorial. You're going to want to get this right. There's a lot of pinching, a lot of pulling, a lot of adjusting. I'd recommend starting at the ends and then at the middle and then just kind of adjusting around that. Now you're going to actually be stitching it together. I recommend go slow because this is the most important part in my opinion. If you don't get these even then it's going to look really wonky, you're going to have one really pointy peak and one really flat peak and it's just not going to look good, you're not going to want to wear it, you're going to have to start all over again or you're going to have to unstitch it and just keep doing it. So go very slowly, make sure you're very consistent with the different peaks and also with the way that you pinned it. Um, again I like to take the pins out as I go to make sure it doesn't end up in some weird bunchiness and to make sure I don't break a needle. And you're especially going to want to go pretty slow around those curves, especially if you've never sewed a, a curve before, because it can get pretty tricky and you do want to make sure everything stays lined up.
right, now that that's done, I flipped it right sides out again, and it's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and iron that down, make it looking nice and clean, and we're gonna be ready for the next step. We have the full bodice done, wow. Before we can carry on, here's me going on a weird side tangent where I decided that, oh my goodness, wouldn't ruffles just look adorable on this bodice? Even though the whole point of it is that it's a nice structured sweetheart bodice, but I just did not care. And so I plugged ahead with my ruffles. Not a care in the world. My camera said no, but my heart said yes. So here I am making my ruffles, realizing that it's completely unflattering, and then ripping it off. Amazing. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Here we are with our bodice almost complete. Now we still have the raw hem to deal with. So what we're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna fold over the hem just about a centimeter, just to make sure everything's nice and clean and even, especially if you have some longer pieces that you just wanna even out, make sure everything looks nice and cohesive, nice and even. Here's how it should all look, nice and flat. We have it all pinned down on one side and it's gonna give us that nice smooth look. So now that we have that, we're gonna wanna go ahead and sew that down. Look how clean that looks. Look at how clean that looks. Look at how good we're doing. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Now we're gonna make straps by cutting out an inch wide strip of fabric, folding it in half, sewing it down, and then flipping it right side out again. And I went ahead and ironed it down to look like this. You're gonna wanna stitch that onto your bodice right where the seams meet. So right where the center front piece and the side piece meet. You're gonna hand stitch it with a matching piece of thread to make sure that everything looks cohesive. And this is gonna take some time, but you're really gonna wanna make sure it's secured on there. And from a distance, you can't really tell that the seam is there, but it's secure, looks good, feels good. We're ready to move on to the next step. So here I have this super long external sport zipper that I bought like five years ago. I had no use for it then, but it's finally gonna get put to use now. I went ahead and ironed down the raw hem of the back piece just to make sure it looks all clean when I attach the zipper. And I pinned it on and I'm just gonna go ahead and snip off the top. It's gonna take some adjusting to get it the right height, so don't feel too bad, just make sure it looks nice and clean. And I also went ahead and stitched over the zipper to make a new stopper for it, so that way when I try to zip it off, the actual zipper head doesn't just run off the edges. And now that we have the zipper finally attached, that is the last piece in the puzzle of making this bodice. We're all done. Congratulations. You made a halter top. All right, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope everything was clear and concise. And I just think this top is gonna look so cute in the summer. I especially like the really long straps that I gave so I could have a nice long bow in the back. And I just think this is gonna look so cute. I paired it here with just a little pair of jean shorts and a cute little wedge sandal. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed this.